uh, preparedness. And if there's one message that I want to leave with you today based on my experience, and you'll see that in a moment, is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. I, I don't know how many times I can say it, Madam Chair. We did not fund gain-of-function research to be conducted in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Anyway, so let me just go on about NIH lifts funding pause on gain-of-function research that might be anticipated to create, transfer, or use enhanced potential pandemic pathogens. I don't think this is going to be foolproof. Things are going to slip through. If it may have been a lab, may have been nature, and we're supposed to look forward, then why did Dr. Fauci work so hard for just one of those theories? I almost have to laugh at that, Neil. I mean, that's totally bizarre. First of all, I wasn't leaning totally strongly one way or the other. I've always kept an open mind. As you know, there's a sort of urban legend that there's a biological warfare center in Wuhan and that the coronavirus escaped from that. Did you have any sense of where it probably came from? I think ultimately we know that these things come from an animal reservoir. I've heard these conspiracy theories, and like all conspiracy theories, they're just conspiracy theories. I wasn't leaning totally strongly one way or the other. I've always kept an open mind. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. Should you be wearing two masks or one mask. I often myself wear two masks. Can we make a general recommendation that doesn't have scientific basis yet? No. Please wear a mask. The chances of my getting infected in an indoor setting is extremely low. And that's the reason why in indoor settings now, I feel comfortable about not wearing a mask because I'm fully man, I'm fully vaccinated. When you're in a congregate indoor setting, wear a mask. First of all, I didn't recommend locking anything down. I went with Dr. Burks into the president and said, 15 days are not enough. We need to go 30 days. Obviously, there were people who had a problem with that because of the potential secondary effects. Nonetheless, at that time, the president went with the health recommendations and we extended it another 30 days. Uh, first of all, I didn't recommend locking anything down. It's the worst possible thing you could do is vaccinate somebody to prevent infection and actually make them worse. This would not be the first time if it happened that a vaccine that looked good in initial safety actually made people worse. Well, well, the latter part of what you just said is untrue. You don't get worse results from vaccinating. She really has the flu. She definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. The optimal degree of protection when you get infection is to get vaccinated after infection. Because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. The optimal degree of protection when you get infection is to get vaccinated after infection. She really has the flu. She definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. So if you're saying, are we out of the pandemic phase in this country? We are. Is this country ready for another pandemic? And are we still in the one we have not, uh, yeah. that we've been talking about? Well, we certainly are still in it. The safety of these vaccines have been clearly established. The long-term effects that the people are apparently concerned about really have with, with uh, I'm sure there is a very, 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 very rare exception, but the long-term effects are really essentially non-existent. Do we have any data about, you know, vaccines and the, the back end of that or the negative side of that? There's been a, yeah. a number of studies. New York yeah. Times just did one about um, sure. menstruating cycles and how that is affected by vaccines. Yeah, though, well, the menstrual thing uh, is, is something that 
seems to be quite transient and, and temporary. That's the point. That's one of the points. We need to study it more. We need to study because it. Because the other side that just keeps putting out misinformation and disinformation seems to be tireless in that effort. An article in the San Francisco Examiner, I think, a Sunday magazine section, which was just phenomenal. I still have a picture of it. It says, um, I call you murderer, an open letter to an incompetent idiot, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of NIAID. Fuck Xi Jinping! <laughs> Is that we're going to take down the CCP. Yeah! 